This is a Grenneveld Quick Tip video on the twin, pressure testing the system. This video will cover ways to properly pressure test the Grenneveld twin and steps to take if there are fault codes on your display. One, pressure readings at the pump. Two, pressure readings at the farthest point away from the pump. To test, use a set of hydraulic gauges up to 5,000 PSI. Grenneveld Quick Tip. For the twin system to work properly, the pump needs to build enough grease pressure to cause the pressure switch to close. The first thing to do is locate the main feed lines, A and B. These are located at the pump. Use the correct size wrench to remove these lines. Pressure gauges have a modified hose to go directly into the fittings on the pump. Go ahead and install these on the pump. Now, turn on the power source, which will provide power to the pump for testing. With the power on, one, press the test button for one second and release it. Two, wait a few seconds, and now press the button between three to five seconds. Three, this will put the pump into a single cycle test. This means that the pump will run on either line A or B for the maximum pump time, or until the pressure switch closes. Because gauges are being used on the system, the pressure switch can't be closed. With the pump pumping, you can see that one gauge line A or B is building up to 3,500 PSI. This is the maximum of the pump. The pressure relief valve in the pump is controlling this. If you're getting any less than the 3,500 PSI, investigate the pump to see if this is the result of either worn pistons, air in the pump. Cycle the power supply now, turning the key off for 30 seconds and then turning it back on. Hold the test button down for another three to five seconds. The pump will turn on again, but this time it should have closed the valve inside the pump. Now, green lube grease should come out from the opposite line. The pressure on this one should also reach the 3500 PSI. If you're getting these pressures at the pump, the next step is to take the gauges to the last manifold. Take the gauges and install them on the last block. Remove the two bleed plugs here and install these fittings. You can use any fitting that has one quarter inch threads. Cycle the key on again and press the test button for three to five seconds like we did before. Now you can focus on the gauge. It will start to rise slower than when it was connected directly to the pump. This is because it takes time to push the green lube grease to build the required pressure. Pressure will start to rise in the system now. Once the pressure hits roughly 2,000 PSI, note that it stops. This is an indication that the pressure switch has closed and the system is shutting off. Once this happens, wait one minute. Press and hold the test button for three to five seconds to generate another cycle. Grease pressure should rise on the opposite gauge up to the 2,000 PSI mark. During this, pressure should only rise on one of the gauges. If it's happening on both, then you possibly have a bypass situation. Getting the grease pressure at the end of the system should take around one to three minutes. This time can fluctuate by the size of the machine and length of primary grease lines. Grenneveld Quick Tip. If the system is taking too long to build the pressure or not building pressure at all, then one, check for air in the system. Two, check for a bypass. Three, check for an external leak. This can be found by following the main lines from the pump unit. If the system builds up to the proper pressure, then the system will close the pressure switch and the cycle will finish. Go ahead and shut off the power. Now you can remove the gauges and reinstall the end plugs into the manifold. Grenneveld Quick Tip. Anytime work is done with a system, run a couple of test cycles. If you're encountering any other problems with the system or if the gauges are not functioning properly, reach out to Grinneveld Lubrication Solutions, Inc. at 1-800-263-1760. This concludes our Grinneveld Quick Tip video on the twin, pressure testing the system.